Police learn this all started with a huge fight here at Carriage House East Apartment, spilled over to social media, eventually costing the one-year-old her life. Marion County deputies escorted Brian Palmer and Darren Banks back to their jail cells one at a time to await their next day in court together. They face charges in the March 29th shooting death of one-year-old Malaysia Robson Du. The same gunfire also injured her 19-year-old aunt, Anna Fox. Family and friends attending their first court appearance find it hard to believe the men are responsible for the shooting. That is not their demeanor. They, that situation stemmed from two girls, being two sisters, being pregnant by one guy. Never seen Brian own a gun at all. He's, um... He's a car guy, man. He's um, not a violent person. According to court documents, detectives learned from witnesses the shooting is related to an ongoing family dispute between several family members. Undercover officers had Palmer and Banks under surveillance. During a traffic stop, officers reportedly found two AR-style rifles and ammo in their car. Court docs also say during questioning, the two men admitted to getting their rifles and being driven to North Whitfield, where the shooting happened. Despite the reported confession... Their families want more proof. Until, until he tell me, my sons tell me that they did it, I will believe it. Banks and Palmer will hear those formal charges in court next Tuesday. On the Crime Beat, I'm Steve Jefferson.